Well, thank y'all for having me on the other side. Yes. You know, the, the right side where the grass is much greener. Yes. And um, the beats are much cleaner. It's <laughs> like. <laughs> excited to be sitting down with you. Yeah, um, yeah. I say that because when I first got to DC, I heard your name everywhere. And I saw you everywhere. I was walking in Chinatown, saw mm -hmm. you performing. And I think what makes you stand out, you know, you're you're not just a regular drummer. You're very unique in your style. How thank would you, you describe you. it? Just dope. <laughs> Definition of percussion entertainment. Yeah. That's, yeah. What do you, because your style, I feel like your style, it includes it incorporates dancing. It incorporates like all different forms of art. Why did you choose to do that specifically? Uh, percussion is just, it's a lifestyle, you know? Yeah, you can be a drummer or you can be a singer. You can be a tap dancer. You can be a filmmaker. Everything has a beat, a rhythm, or just your lifestyle period. We all move and grind, think, breathe to in rhythm, you know? So it's just a lifestyle. So. Would you say that that's how like you think and operate in music in beats? Yeah, like yeah. you know your heart beat, you know your heart's beating on a certain rhythm pace, unlike anyone else, and your eyes are blinking, mouth moving, different beats per minute, speech per minute, anything per minute, life per minute. You know, so. See, that's a dope way. Of thinking. I think that's how that <laughs> that's translates into. Way. Yeah. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> I think that that's. Um, how it really translates into your music and stuff. Mm -hmm. What would you say music means to you? Music means just, it's life. It's a lifestyle as well as percussion. It's music is what the emotions sound like, if I can put it in that way. Yeah, yeah it's what like, if you can't describe how you, can, how you feel sometimes. The music can just, you know, just reflect the exact aura that you're trying to represent whether it be for you just screaming like rah, rah, and rock or you just like playing the drums really hard or playing that piano like bah, bah, bah. Yeah. you know what I'm saying that Talking. makes sense do you feel like if people lack emotion when it comes to their music and their talent do you feel like that makes them less talented uh it makes it less understood of what you're trying to project to any audience that if you're projecting it to them or if you're just playing to yourself and practicing it, that's just you but if you want people to feel you you need to feel you in the music you know, that you're playing. I think that's so cool. I don't think yeah. a lot of people like think about it like that. Like and I think it is music, mu I call it, I just thought of it just now, music could tell a kinesis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But actually. <laughs> yeah. That's, I might have to make that a word or something. Yeah. <laughs> a dictionary. I don't know. Write it in a dictionary. Yeah. This is, yeah, your trademark. Yeah. Um, every time you play, do you have a certain goal in mind, a certain intention? I say this because I recently saw one of your posts where you said you put high energy thinking into every beat, mm -hmm. into every part of your body. Yeah. So is there a certain goal that you really grasp? So when I'm playing, it's, it's like it's a prayer. Like, you know, you don't have to uh, exactly pray every time. Like, when you're just doing anything, your intentions is your prayer. Like, I wake up thinking of, well, how am I going to express my brand to the world in any type of form relating to anybody? Like, I just wake up thinking, like, how am I going to be dope today? Really? Like, you think about that every day? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's automatically muscle memory of, like, what my life is just of. I might wake up, check the Instagram, oh, snap. I should send me a message, oh, what's up? What's up? Like, <laughs> wake up, hello, they didn't brush my TV yet. Yeah. Or you know, I just... Just wake up and like, dang, I'm broke. How am I gonna like pimp, pimp my my skills? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think that's important because if you, it's almost like how you prepare, you know, for what's to come, and then you're ready for every experience mm -hmm. that's about to happen for you. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So it's definitely <laughs> just a manifestation that you need to just have with yeah. that. Yeah. It's so important. I'm yeah. trying to tell everybody. Um. So you have your own brand, Dope, right? Yeah. yeah. What all does this brand consist of? So DOPE stands for Definition of Percussion Entertainment. And it consists of three main things, education, entertainment, and healing through the mind, body, and spirit through the art of percussion. How'd you come up with that? One day uh, from after 
I used to march at uh, Howard University drum line. Yeah, it's <laughs> Yeah, it's you. <laughs> yeah, so. I was like talking to my brother, like, man, I want to make something, something dope. Oh, dope. No. <laughs> and then I was like, yeah, and he was like, what's going to, what's going to mean? What, like, what's the, how's the acronym going to go? Next thing you know, I was like, all right, um, definition. Okay, he's like, yep, okay. And then I was like, definition of operation, approach, of, okay, something simple, of, uh, you know, percussion, duh. Yeah. <laughs> And we just couldn't think of the E. And then he helped me come up with the E. Like, it was like entity, environment, yeah, exclusive, something. Then he was like, education. I was like, yeah, that's definite. the one. And then we both said, it was like, definition of percussion education. And, and, when, and by that time, uh, uh, we thought about it right there in the second, like, you going down Georgia Avenue. Howard Theater is right there on the left. As we were walking to Shaw because he stayed in um, UTC. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> they right about definitely that one. not stayed there. Too. <laughs> yeah, so he stayed there. So we, as, like we, I just remember like that day, and I was like, boom, and it was right there. And that that little like you know, different little. You know how the street is when you like walking right there by Howard Theater. Yeah, so. yeah. And so yeah, we I thought of that, and then I just started using it as a hashtag. Yeah, that is so cool. Do you feel like your life has changed ever since you created Dope and your career? Do you feel like there's a drastic difference? Yeah, um, yeah, it definitely is a drastic difference between like just me reevaluating myself and what I stand for, and um, even like influencing other people around the world that I've never met, right. don't know, older than me, younger than me. You know, or even passed away or anything. That's huge. You beat me to the punch because I was actually <laughs> going to say you've been traveling. You just traveled to Jamaica. Yeah. And I was going to ask you, you know, mm. how does it feel to be able to take your talents across, you know, the country into different, you know, places yeah. and be able to share your talent and inspire people? I'm definitely, like, appreciative because I was out gallery and all that and people walking past like, oh, just drummer doing cool stuff oh, yeah we see that all the time like okay so you don't but yeah i done <laughs> drummed out there in the winter time and only made five dollars after two three hours you know and so i was just like i just never quit i just never stopped so to see me coming this far all the way going all the way to jamaica and, and everywhere and doing like an international debut on a snare drum like making something that's just like, oh, this is a snare, this is that. Yeah. Making it look like, oh, that's that. <laughs> that's dope. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, you've gained a huge following, yeah. literally. Um, yeah. And, you know, by pretty notable people as well. What does it mean to you to be recognized like that? Man, it's like some, it's like, it's really like, like from my intentions from years ago, like I've grown up watching Usher literally studying his moves. I remember I sung bad girls for a chorus for the choir audition in elementary school and I was like 11 yeah I was like 11 12 or something yeah like 11 and I sung that and got in there and like I'm just and now he you know he's seen me yeah and who else just I saw what you said you said um when you had met Usher and he started playing with you you said that it was the best 10 seconds of your life yeah it just Why like you say that because like I wouldn't even have known he just had swag I mean, it's with it. Like, it's just us. Like I've I've watched him. Like I've literally sat on the TV. Like this girl was me. She really turned. You know what I'm saying? I was just like watching that over and over. Like all the videos. I had the album. Everything. I, like I can remember what was going on in that time when I had the album. It was like middle school or something like the confet. No, it was uh, elementary. Mm -hmm. uh, Transferring uh, to middle school. Like, who I want to be as an artist, I want to be a lot of uh, them infused. I want to be Usher, Sheila E, Aaron Spears, Chris Brown, Michael Jackson, Travis Scott, So if you Kendrick. had to pick one, what would be your dream collaboration? Yeah. Pick one. <laughs> collaboration in performance or in production or in... Um, let's say uh, performance. Out of all of those two? Yeah, or anybody, actually. Anybody who you just look up to musically, who would be the one person that you want to be able to collab with? Man. I don't know. That was a tricky one right now. Well, I can say it, in rap. Yeah. I would say, I, I just got to say, too, it ain't one. Like, I don't know. Since they did a tour together, it'd be Kendrick Lamar and Travis Scott. I want to rage out with Travis yeah. Scott, and then I want to rage out on some 
like Black Power Mode with Kendra. You see that that uh, the Grammy one? Part, yeah. I, poof, poof, I was feeling. I was like, man, I could be me just literally. Like, you know what I'm saying? So he was did. really up there, like doing yeah, it. Yeah. 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 It'll happen one day, right? Yeah. Now I'm just. It's, it, it might happen this year, so I never know. Yeah. So street performing, it's been a large part of your career. Um, yeah. You started off doing street performing. You continue to do street performing. Mm -hmm. um, I actually just saw the article that you were featured in for the Washington Post, and you were deeply resonant or complaining about the noise now. Exactly. So what do you like? What's your response to that? You know, when you're just somebody out there who's trying to share your talent, and then somebody so yeah, at first, you know, I definitely felt felt the way I, I was from 2013. I was learning what gentrification was like, the definition of that, and like how it's like it seemed like it's not a bad thing, but it's bad when the culture the culture gets washed away, and then them just not respecting it. So from 2013, I remember I was first like street performing in 14 for you, and. They, that's before these new apartments were built over top of the McDonald's. Mm -hmm. As those apartments were built, they were just complaining on me more and more, even before the the noise ordinance time that we were permitted, which was 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. at night. They were still complaining. I had to turn my music down. And any anybody knows if the street performer turning their music down for real, it's most likely turning their money down. You know? yeah, they don't want to turn the dough down. Yeah. So, it's more than just like playing loud and like blah. No, it's like I'm trying to get attention to like, hey, look at me, I'm dope. That's why I feel like it must yeah. like hurt in some way to have oh, people, yeah. you know, tell you that you have to turn that down because then it's like, it's like I've been, it's like turning part of you down. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So f through the whole time with that, I just, as you can see, I just uh, had to keep it moving. You know, I had to keep elevating, and I, yeah, I just had to keep elevating and um, creating other ways for me to monetize my intellectual property and just everything I'm doing without, like I haven't worked for nobody in five years. So. I love that. Yeah, I, I've been doing the drumming thing yeah. and just just learning how to be more of a businessman and just navigate that way. And yeah. And you're so, still doing it big no matter who's telling you to turn nah, it down. I just, I just uh, thought to just, you know, go where I am, like where I am welcome to, to play loud. Like yeah. they want to hear it live entertainment so I just you know structured my energy on blasting that type of stuff concerts and festivals and collaborations with different artists like I just saw a different way on how to uh, just monetize my craft. I love it. Yeah. One piece of advice that you could give yourself when you first started this journey of becoming a drummer? Sit down. Be humble. That's <laughs> I mean, real. And then that's yeah. I just had to be honest with myself as far as like this music, just like how I do it, it it makes somebody else, it plays a role in somebody else's life. It's, it's um, a healing mechanism or a therapeutic just mechanism to anything, you know? Definitely. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with yeah. me. I really appreciate it. Oh, oh, that's it? That's oh, it. Yeah, I'm, I ain't even said nothing, you know what I'm saying? You but, said everything. It was oh, great. Yeah. Hey, throw me a stick. Somebody throw me a stick. Wait, you got some sticks or something? What, what we what we doing, man? You know, they stay ready. Just throw me one of them things. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, you know what I'm saying? We just be cooking like stir fry, and you know what I'm saying? Huh, take that, take that, grab that. Me. Bow, bow. Just whip with it. You know what I'm saying? Millie with it. Yeah. Millie with it. Do something. Just be dope. You know? Hey. Yeah, exactly. Hey. Now dab with it. Bow. Hit the folks. Yeah, and we done. Peace. <laughs> bow. <laughs>